I've come here ever since I was a kid. I used to come here with my dad. Then once he passed, I came with my girlfriend. These days I'm usually alone, but I like it that way. I spend most mornings here just enjoying the view, reading a book, or just thinking. It's nice to get away from life sometimes. It was a normal morning by almost every definition of the word when I met Lewis. I heard him coming, but I chose to ignore him. I hoped he wasn't coming towards me. What? He was. Do you mind if I sit here? It was at this point, I had a fun idea. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. Oh. Are you deaf? Right. Um. So you can't hear, like, at all? I hope since he thought I was deaf, he wouldn't talk to me, but I was wrong. So I can say anything I want right now, and you're not going to understand me? Uh, lost my job on Tuesday. It wasn't a good job, but it provided me with something, you know? Now I feel sort of aimless. Kind of just like pointless. Provided me with a sense of purpose. Now I've just got nothing, you know. Just... I should have stopped him then and there, but to be honest, I was kind of intrigued. This guy was willing to be completely honest with me. What else would he tell me? It wasn't even my fault. But, you know, they let me go. So, I got no way to pay the bills. Could be worse though, cause you know, at least not deaf. <laughs> hey, uh, I know you can't hear me, but uh, I just want to say thanks for listening, or you know, not listening. I thought that was the last I would see of Lewis, but once again I was wrong. I wonder if you've ever been in love. I'm in love, I think. So there's this girl. She's beautiful. She doesn't even know I exist, but I think I'm going to talk to her soon. Tell her how I feel. I'm nervous, but that's normal, right? Her name's Sydney. She works at this coffee place I go to every day. It's shitty, but she's always there. Ask me how my day went. She's nice. I know that's her job, but it doesn't mean she's faking being nice to me. She's shy. Catch her looking at me every now and then, and she quickly looks away. Every time. Never had a girlfriend. Not a not a real girlfriend, you know. I've had those dumb middle school relationships and elementary school ones, but 
Those weren't real. I've always wanted something real. It was kind of nice listening to him talk about Sydney. It was refreshing. He seemed like he was in love to me. It's a shame it didn't work out. I can't believe I'm such a fucking idiot. Why would she like me? Me, out of everyone. I made a complete fool out of myself. There's a huge line of people behind us, and I asked if she wanted to hang out sometime. She said she was busy. So I kept asking, and asking, and asking. You're supposed to be persistent with this kind of stuff. Eventually, she just told me to go away. She called me a fucking creep. Such a fucking idiot. I felt bad for him. I've been there before. Rejection sucks. You never get used to it, Sting. I wanted to talk to him, but I couldn't give up my cover now. Lewis and I's talks became a normal occurrence. Every day around 10 a.m., he'd show up with a new set of problems. He was often upset about something that had happened the day before. He liked to vent to me. I don't think he had anyone else to talk to. I honestly kind of started to enjoy having him around. I never realized how alone I was until someone was there with me. I missed having someone there, even if I didn't talk to them. It was nice just being acknowledged. Louis seemed like a lonely person, too. He never mentioned any family, any friends, anybody. It was always just him. I guess I might have been considered a friend, but what do I know? I didn't really think about it until one day when he started talking kind of weird. I've been thinking a lot about what comes next. What happens when we die? Is there a God? A heaven? A hell? Or just nothing? Sometimes I don't even think there's a point at all. Why is that such an awful thing to say? It's crazy to me. We, we put so much value on our lives when we are literally just tiny specks of dust on a slightly larger speck of dust hurtling through nothing. Everything we do, say, everything we mean, it all just means nothing. But death isn't the worst. There's worse things that can happen to you. Death's really just a break. Reward. For dealing with this shitty life. You have to believe me, I wanted to help him. I really did. But what was I supposed to say? Hey, yeah, I know you shared all your deep, dark secrets with me, but I'm not really deaf. Cheer up, pal. I didn't know what to do. He didn't say anything the next day, so we just sat in silence. Never felt so useless before. I could have said something. I should have said something. But I didn't. Hi, I'm Lewis. I know we're complete strangers, but I wanted to thank you. You have no idea what you've done for me, but you've really helped me. This might sound weird, but sitting here with you has always been the highlight of my days. Maybe I'll see you again someday. Thank you.
Lewis didn't show up the next day. In fact, he never showed up again. I can never say what happened to him for sure, but I think I know. I don't know whose fault it was. Was it Sidney's? His boss who fired him? Was it me? I thought about it a lot, sitting at the bench where we spent all those mornings. I don't think I'll ever have an answer, but I do know one thing. I miss him dearly, and I really don't want to be alone anymore. I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'll see him again one day. Maybe he fell in love again. Maybe he's happy now. Wherever he is, I just hope he has someone to listen. He deserves someone to listen.